hey guys so welcome back now uh, previously we looked at the OpenShift origin console uh, basically just the web interface you have here and um, pretty much uh, you know kind of has um, just some things uh, set up here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete um, the keys uh, we're going to use the RHC uh, command line tool so I can see how we can set that up so I'm going to revoke all the access okay so go back to our settings tab and we have to delete this uh, okay so we don't have any authorizations uh, going on here all right so um the reason why i want to why i did all this is so that i can switch to the command line tool and show you how we can um, create these entries of course you can do them here right in the console or you can use the command line tool now um the command line tool uh, uses Ruby, so it's a gem you have to install. So I have a Windows installation here. So I actually installed the, uh, using the Ruby installer, I installed the Windows version of Ruby uh, 1.9.3 and I did the gem install RC, right? So once you do this, um, it's going to go ahead and install RC so that I can have the command line tool available. All right, so because I already have this available, uh, I already have the RC tool. Now we're going to go ahead and set up uh, our environment. So this is how you do it. So RHC tool setup. Now, if you are using the online edition, actually it's defaults to the online um, edition of OpenShift. So if you do this without any uh, credentials, then it's going to go and assume that you're using the the OpenShift online um, edition. But here we're going to override that uh, and point it to our, our local um, OpenShift origin installation. And we're going to set it up for the OpenShift user. All right, so when you press this, it's going to go ahead and try to set up the environment. So you can see the wizard here. It's using the OpenShift user uh, as login to cloud.mail.local. So here it's telling us that we're using a self-signed certificate. So, I mean, it's could not verify the authenticity of cloud.mail.local, which is um, expected because it's self-signed. Anyway, we're going to tell you to bypass the check. So say yes. And uh, I need to provide the password for the user OpenShift. So I'm going to type that. Now it's going to ask me um, that it's going to create the token file and store it on our local disk. This way uh, we don't have to communicate with that until the token expires. So I'm going to say yes. So it has generated the token and the token will last for a day. Um, if you can see that, let me show you. So it's going to last for a day and um, it's going to save the configuration in a .openshift directory in the file called express.conf. Right, so it says your SSH key must be uploaded to OpenShift server to access the code. Uh, so yes, we wanted to help us upload the SSH keys as well. And it's found our SSH key in the, the SSH dot, uh, slash ID underscore RSA. Uh, I checked the domain and notice we have one domain here, uh, PAAS. And um, right now we can, you know, we're ready to create applications. Uh, you can see here that uh, we can use the RSA create app command. And of course, these are the different cartridges that we have available um, you know, at our disposal. So uh, in another screencast, I'm going to you know, kind of tell you what cartridges are and um, you know, the different terminologies in OpenShift as well. Now we have a total of five gears. Uh, here you can see we, can, um, we have two different gear sizes that we can use, which is the small and the medium. So I'm going to show you how to use this um, in the other screencast. But anyway, so um, we've used the RSC tool, as you can see, to set up our environment. So if I come back to the console, for instance, and I refresh, you can see that uh, the RSC tool went ahead and uploaded our RSC credentials and created the authorization token for our RSC sessions, um, our subsequent RSC sessions that will last for a day. All right, so um, hopefully um, you've seen how the RSC command works. Uh, in the next video, we're going to kind of go ahead and kind of create our first application and we introduce some terminologies along the way. So um, please feel free to drop um, any comments in the forums uh, below so that we can discuss and uh, see you in the next one.